thanks for joining us. It's Sarah with Ruffles and Rain Boots, and today we are making this fun cartoon style North Pole rock painting. As you can see, it's got a little bit of accent, and you can obviously adjust it however you'd like. We're going to start out with a rainforest pebble here. You can sand it or not. I don't. I'm lazy. And I'm just basically sketching out a signpost and sort of a snow globe style look. I want sort of a delineated look for the back of our sign. And I'm going to put in here a couple of little details <clears throat> like the um, sign turned a little bit to the side and a little dimension to the top of the pole. It's a really fun design. I once saw it in a coloring book and it's never left my head. Uh, so I thought I'd put it into a rock. And then all I'm going to do here is just add in a little bit of detail. I'm doing a really rough draft because it's all going to get covered up with paint. Go ahead and grab those Posca paint pens and acrylic paints and we'll get to work painting first the background. So I'm using this really pretty color. It's almost a turquoise blue only because I ran out of sky blue and I'm really excited with how this really makes the colors pop. So you do you, but this turquoise is now my favorite color on rocks. And again, I didn't use a base coat for this rock at all. So we're going to now paint the sign white and I'm using an angled flat brush. This makes edges so easy if you're new to rock painting um, and you're branching out from using paint pens uh, th this paintbrush should be in your uh, arsenal and then we're also going to be painting a little bit of the snow down there and again I'm making sort of a, a snow globe look to it you can do this look all the way around the rock now I'm going to get out my pens notice I didn't use the acrylics on the white part of the candy cane striping I just feel it doesn't work as well so I'm going to use my white paint pen for that plus I'm going to be able to clean up all the mess ups that I did from my red paint pen see how that works uh, I do this a lot in cleaning up my messes <laughs> after something dries and it just makes things look a little crisp and if you outline everything in a rock Hey, guess what? It looks really good because you get to cover up all those little blips. Okay, so now here you can see I'm just cleaning up uh, the little blips around the red, trying to make them look a little more even. It's a rock painting though, not rocket science, so it doesn't have to be exact. And now here's where the fun starts. You're really gonna make these colors pop by giving them a nice outline. Now, for those of you who have the question, I am using the fine tips or the smallest tip Posca pens. I lost my big set or I left them in an Airbnb we stayed at, so I haven't replaced those yet. Uh, so right now all my my rock painting is done with fine tip markers uh, but you can see it really allows you to get into the detail and if you want to get into a lot more detail um, we're going I'm going to show you one of the other pens that I use on rocks that I absolutely love and it's teeny teeny tiny um, okay so now we're just going to finish outlining this guy before we move on, you can write anything you want. You can write like Rudolph crossing or reindeer crossing. You can write like Santa's workshop would be adorable, like with a little toy train or something next to it. Okay, now my mind is thinking, obviously I love painting rocks and <laughs> I may, you may see this design again soon. Okay, so what I did is I just sketched in pencil again, everything, um, uh, here I used a little tiny holly off to the side and then used North Pole. Um, again, you can put out whatever you want, but I'm just using the paint pens. I'm using two different color greens. So first I will lay down the lighter green, which is sort of the center of our leaf. And then I'm going to follow it up with the darker green. And these all come in the basic um, fine tip set for Posca's. And then I'm just going to trace over everything. Now, hey, watch this. I'm going to mess up. <gasps> I know people don't like to admit that, but I mess up on rocks all the time. Wait for it. The O, look at that O. The O needs to be fixed. Actually, I think two O's are going to end up being needing to be fixed. But what I'm going to do is don't freak out. Oh, yeah, there you go. Uh, don't freak out. We're just going to use the white pen in a minute to fix it all and sort of clean it all up. Um, and here we're going to outline that holly in dark green. I just love these. I think that when you outline something in black, it does give it a nice big point. But don't forget to really put in a couple of colors uh, in the actual unit. So, okay, so here we are. We're going to fix this this up. I just added a couple little reflections on the top of that pole there. And then I'm going to use my teeny tiny micron and I'm just going to outline the holly. 
Oh, I also gave a little reflection onto my berries. Um, you could also use a, a black to do that. But okay, so here I am. I'm just going to outline this. And again, I'm going to go outside of that darker green because I really want that to still show. So you can see how well this tiny little pen uh, gets in here. I use Micron for hand lettering and uh, it it does come in handy with uh, rock painting. All right, so the last step in our fun little rock painting here is to give it some snow. And because I was too lazy to go get a toothpick, I used my daughter's pencil and just made snow everywhere. <laughs> That's it for this fun rock. Please give it a seal. You're gonna wanna seal this rock. Hey, thanks for uh, watching. Please like this video and subscribe to Ruffles and Rain Boots for more rock painting fun.